Hello, this is Billy Core from home of CarolinaCircleMile.com, and today we're going to take a look at Windows 3.1, the very first operating system I ever saw or used, which was on my Ant's Gateway 2000 computer back in the summer or spring of 1995. I don't remember exactly when it was. Windows 3.1 came out in 1992 and lasted until about 1995 when it was replaced with Windows 95. And in my hand right now is disk one of the setup disk for Windows 3.1. And no, this is not Windows for Work Groups 3.11. This is actually the original 3.1. It's just called 3.11 because it has um, some updated software and patches that were kind of like a modern day service pack, I guess. Um, and like I said, Windows 3.1 was the very first operating system I ever saw or used back in 1995. And on my Ant's Gateway 2000 and at age 5 I knew that computers were, were going to be the wave of the future and boy was I right. So let's switch over to the computer camera, fire up DOSBox and take a look at Windows 3.1. Okay first you gotta type in the magic letters WIN hit enter there's the boot screen and now we're in Windows 3.1 okay um Windows 3.1, by the way, was the first Windows to use the Windows flag, which has remained to this day, although in modified form. Okay, here's the file manager, which was replaced by Windows Explorer in Windows 95 and up. Okay, we'll close out of that. Okay, go under accessories, take a look at what's in here. Okay, we're going to open up a MIDI file, one that came packaged with Windows 3.1. I love, I love these MIDI files. <laughs> it's called Canyon. Close out of that, and here's the clock. Weird seeing the year 2010 uh, there on on the clock there on Windows 3.1. <laughs> okay, let's go to the Write program. You just t type something in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay, now we'll try out Paintbrush, which is now MS Paint. Just draw something random in there. But believe it or not, I do not own a Windows 3.1 computer. I actually only have it on like DOSBox and Microsoft Virtual PC but one of these days I'd love to be the owner of a Windows 3.1 computer believe me <laughs> one of these days one of these days okay what's next okay we'll just give calculator a little, little whirl here 2 plus 2 equals 4 pretty simple there Let's see what else we got here. Notepad, um, here's random stuff there. And I installed Microsoft Entertainment Pack, which came with my Packard Bell on here. And um, this is a game I'm very familiar with, Ski Free. Okay. <laughs> VG Golf. Classic Minesweeper, a game I've never been able to figure out. I always blow up.
when I installed America Online 2.5 on here. Since there's no internet, can't really do much with it, but I installed it on here just for the heck of it. Good times on that thing, good times. <laughs> And yes, I was able to install my, all my humongous entertainment games on here. Let's try out Putt Putt Goes to the Moon. I have a video of that on YouTube, by the way. See, it works pretty well here on um, an emulated Windows 3.1 computer running on DOSBox. Put yourself in orbit. Put pot goes to the moon. Very familiar with the song. And when you get through your life, lots of fun. But we hope you'll come back soon. We're glad that you're happy. But pot could make it snappy. Pot pot, come back from the moon. Hi, I'm Pot Pot. I'm so excited. Mr. Firebird invited Pep and me to the fireworks factory. I bet this is going to be a great day. <laughs> If you want to see more of Putt Putt Goes to the Moon, see my YouTube video on that. Okay, I'm going to close out of that. Okay, here's the control panel. Okay, here's where all the sounds are. AOL. Goodbye. File's done. Welcome. You've got mail. You've got mail. You've got mail. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, here's the desktop settings. Let's set a background here. Um, what I chose is, I think, the ugliest thing ever created, but it's a good way to show it. It's called 256 color. Man, it's 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 a horribly tacky. <laughs> Here's a screensaver. This is my all-time favorite screensaver ever. Flying Windows. It ran from Windows 3.1 all the way up to Windows Millennium. Let's see, uh, here are the color schemes. Those these look kind of tacky looking and monochrome. Here's Windows Setup. Gives you some information about your computer. And you can change a few settings in there, like your drivers and such for video and sound. There's the README. I'm going to try the Windows Tutorial. I'm not going to go very far in this, just, just mainly because of, of time restrictions, but here it is. It even shows you how to use the mouse. That's wild. <laughs> Might do a video of that, just that sometime. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, Microsoft Bob. Now I can't get this to run under DOSBox, so I'll make a video of it sometime on running on something else. Because it's very cool. <laughs> Weird, but cool. And I guess, um, oh, there's the calendar. There's the card file. And that. That's about it. This is Billy Core signing off on March 3rd, 2010.
goodbye.